Hi, ukulele friend. I'm Lisa the Ukulele Fool, and if you're working on the D chord, then you're in the right place. We're going to go through 10 songs that use the D chord. In fact, the D chord, through all three fingers stacked up here, and the second fret, you have to change your elevation on your hand. But you know, there's other ways to do the D chord, and I'll link it up here and down below in the description box. I've got tips and tricks, and there are at least three other ways to play that D chord. And then all these songs have a G chord, too. I play mine with the traditional bunny foo-foo fingers, like this, but G, you can do it other ways, too. So again, uh, t check out those tips and tricks if the D or the G feel awkward. Let's dive in and do our first song, Jambalaya. Grab that song book if you need and let's do it. The strum pattern that we're going to use is going to be a cowboy or bum ditty strum. You, I bounce on the top two and then go drum, bounce down, bounce down, bounce down, bounce down. But if you don't want to bounce, just go down, down, down. Drums. Let's do it. We're going to do through three G's and then on the fourth G we start singing. One, two, ready, begin. Goodbye, Joe. Me gotta go. Me on my own. Me gotta go. classic Bob Dylan tune, Blowing in the Wind. You need a C and I know you know how to play a C chord, right? This is the only one I don't have a tutorial for because I do it, use it for finger picking instead of uh, strumming, but because I don't have a tutorial on this song, we're going to practice a little. We're going to use a down, down, too challenging for you. Just do downs, just two downs. Like that. And I'm going to use this box diagram to help us. This is the way the verses are structured with the chords and I'm just going to hum along with none of those pesky lyrics. I'm going to play the two beat strum with it and let's let's just practice it together. Do a little chord practice. One, two, and here we go. Good. I hope that you find that helpful. 
lyrics, you know, require another part of our brain to work. We have to be reading, so it's sometimes really good practice just to get everything going on the ukulele before you level up and start singing with it. So here we go. We have an introduction. We'll do the first verse and chorus. One, two, and here we go. G, C, and D. We're going to do the island strum with squeeze box. Except when we get down to, um, it's like a little interlude. And it's, she goes in and out and in and out, in and out. And then we're going to go down and down and down and down and down. One and two and three and four and on that last G. If you don't want to do that many down uh, down ups, just just do some down strums. Okay, here we go. One, two, a oh, one, two, and here we go. with the G and D in it, please leave me a comment down below. I do read all my comments. I respond to all my comments, although it takes me a while sometimes, but I'd love to see how you're doing on your ukulele journey. Please let me know. White Liar is the most recent song in this pack. It uses the D. It also has G and C. The tutorial shows you how to do some ways to fancify it, but we're going to just keep it real simple. You can do it with down strums, then each chord symbol that you see in the song would get four down strums. But you can also do it with an island strum, the down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, like that. Here we go. Oh, and when you're doing the island strum, each chord symbol in the song gets two island strums. We're going to start with an intro with two island strums on a D. So here we go. One, two, here we go. Like 
Verses on a box diagram. One, two, here we go. D. Box is an island strum. One, two, here we go. song. I'm going to do it with the island strum. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And you just keep doing this pattern over and over again. Let's just give it a trial run. One, two, here we go. In minor, G, Here we go. 
another D, G, and A minor with the addition of a C chord. This song has a strumming pattern in three. So let's go over that and let's practice it with a diagram. Each box represents one strumming pattern. But let me talk a little bit about what happens with the D in this. I'll sing you the second line of the song. Parsley Saint get single down strums and the C goes one and the G two three so it goes one two three I'll do that again one two three down. doing the strum in three is not part of your ukulele journey yet no worries just do a single down strum for each of the boxes, except the one where you have C, D, and A. So, yeah, you gotta do two strums in that box, but you'll, you'll figure it out, you'll get it. I'll do it with the strum pattern. One, two, three, ready, here we go. Da, da, da. in the jailhouse now, particularly if my husband will join me. Hey, this song uses four chords. You've got D and G along with C, but then you also have an A chord. What you want to use is that cowboy strum. So it's a bum, diddy bum, diddy bum, diddy bum, diddy, which is the other name for this strum. This 
has a yodeling section in it, and you don't need to be able to yodel, I mean truly yodel, to be able to do it. So we'll do a verse, chorus, and the yodel section. So, one, two, oh, one, two, and here we go. even if it's unfamiliar to you. This next song, Sugar Sugar, which was from my childhood, from the Archie's cartoon, is going to take us into a little bit more complicated strumming territory. Some of the chords you're going to have to play with a bum ditty or cowboy strum, and I've got them color-coded in yellow. But then, when you're doing the other chords, do them with an island strum. Let's practice the chorus together. Let's do it with just the box diagram. So one, two, here we go. So far so good. Let's try a verse. One, two, here we go. Ba, 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 ba. and go back to the chorus. One, two, introduction. commercial here. I want to thank all my patrons. We are 
barreling our way to 250 patrons as I'm filming this. I'm not sure when you're catching it, but we have a grand time. We do Zoom sessions where you can ask me questions, where you can jam with me. I teach group lessons also for my patrons. It's exclusive to those patrons. And you're supporting my charity efforts as well. I'm very proud of my charity efforts. And when I reach 250 patrons, it's going to trigger another one of my charitable giveaways. I hope that you would click on the link that I have down below, and I'll put one up here too. Please consider becoming a patron as well, supporting this channel, supporting the work I do here, giving you great rewards, and also helping getting ukuleles and ukulele instruction to those people who could really use it. Oh hey, and for our last song, we're going to level up, and we're going to add an E7. Yes. Another three finger chord. This will also use an A and an A7. And, oh, I said all these had G in it, but this one doesn't. This is the blues. So here we go. Let's just figure these out. I'm going to do this with an island strum. And we have to start singing in the introduction. So I'm, let's include the introduction in the box diagram. So Let's hum along. One, two, here we go. your D chord. I hope that this is helping you feel more confident in your ability to play D and get in and out of it from other chords. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helped you on your ukulele journey. Consider subscribing to this channel so you can get more content and I would love to have you as a patron as well. You get great rewards and you help me on my charity goals and we have a great time on Patreon. All right, until next time, take care. Let me know in the comments down below how things are going.